Hi guys, it's me, the Witch of Boise, here to do another episode of Toasty Tarot Nights! Toasty Tarot Nights! It's a show that I do on an almost weekly basis where we have some drinks, read some cards, and hang out. Make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe, also comment below. Tell me if this reading I'm going to do resonates with you, or if you want to start a dialogue. I'd love to read your comments. Um, also, these are general reads, so um, the message may not resonate 100% with you, but make sure you do watch from beginning to end to see if any message is going to resonate with you and you're being guided today to watch. As well as, if love comes into a reading today, my default is reading to a female about a male, so pronouns are interchangeable. He's can, he's can be she, she's can be he's, he, he, she, she, them, or they. Whatever is going on in your life, whatever applies, we're going to get started. Um, let's do a quick cheers. Let's cheers to um, happiness and joy. Clink. Mmm, so good. Okay, so I'm going to do a different kind of reading today. Let me just adjust this camera really quick. Okay, so we're going to start off with the A.E. White or Weight Tarot deck. Um, I'm not going to do any flyers, actually. <laughs> I will. I'll do those flyers. Um, for the other ones, if there isn't going to be some like really big flyers, I'm just not going to take them. So that's funny. <laughs> Tara's like, uh, no, you're going to take these. So the first cards that we have are the Fool in Reverse and then the World. Okay. Don't mind Coda. It is kind of warm today here in Boise. And she's laying next to me panting a little loud, so... If you hear that, that's just her. Okay, so I'm not going to take any flyers, and I mean it this time. So what I'm going to do is just cut this deck right here. And here's our clarifiers. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with these other cards. Just going to do a quick shuffle. Okay. Do the same thing with this. Quick shuffle. I'm going to take that since it just flew out and it's just one. We're just wanting one today. Okay. Now we have the AE Weight Tarot deck. We have the Witches Tarot. This is the Black Moon um, Astrology cards. This is the Crystal Reading cards. This is the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards. And then this is the Halloween Oracle. Which I really dig this Halloween Oracle deck. Okay, we're gonna take that one. All right. So we have the fool in reverse, and that is going to be clarified by the seven of pentacles in the upright. Then we have the world, and that's being clarified by, wow, the sun. Super cool. What a cool energy. Then for our Black Moon Astrology cards, we have Sagittarius, I see. And then for our Crystal Reading cards, we have Rose Quartz, which is Inner Child. I also view Rose Quartz as love, self-love, motherhood. I just don't, I don't view it just as Inner Child. Um, with the Goddess Guidance, it's a Buntina, a Bun... Oh my god, Abundantatina. <laughs> I 
can't read. It's prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. Wow. That's huge with the Sagittarius. I was thinking that because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter is all about abundance and is the um, lucky planet. That's where our luck is. Wow. Then we have the veil, the future. Wow. Okay. So um, the fool in reverse, that is meaning that this is um, not a beginning. You're going through something and it's taking its time. This is not like a start over. However, there's a completion that has been happening and it's very positive. This is a very positive completion. You've learned your lessons. You're ready to move forward. And you're, it's just a really good kind of everything has been tied up. Um, and um, just ready to go to the next phase. But it's a little contradictive because the fool is new beginnings. So there's something where maybe it's that taking off. Um, that's, that's being delayed. But I also feel like with the world, and this is the ending of the major arcana, so the fool is the beginning, the world is the ending. So I feel like it's time to really relish and really, um, enjoy and take advantage of the moment right now. This is your ending cycle. It's kind of like I'm getting like end with a bang in the sense of like, it's like the finale. It's like the fireworks. It's like the, everything is the end. Um, so it just feels like it, you can't just rush through this. And it's a little bit frustrating because I feel like you really want to go to the next step, but it's, you just got to wait. You got to wait for it and just really relish this moment. Um, I know some of you, it might not be the best ending of times, um, ending of a chapter or, or whatever, just because of like where we are right now. Um, but just, just really appreciate it and really look at all of your blessings and just feel like that you are blessed in certain aspects. Now the, with the Abuntina and, um, Sagittarius, this is, I'm just feeling a lot of law of attraction that's coming. And especially with how I place this, it's the future and then it's prosperity. It, it's abundance is in the future. We can't know what exactly is going to happen in the future. And anyone that says that they are a future seer, like it's, you can't, you can't a hundred percent see it into the future. I don't feel like anyone else has the ability because there's a thing called free will. And yeah, you can have a certain path that, that might be yours and might be something that looks like, um, what your future is, but it can definitely change. No, no future is, um, set in stone. There's fate and destiny, and that definitely is going around stuff, but then you have certain events, people, places, and that can totally change the outcome. But for what it seems, at least right now with the future, it's looking really good because of the Sagittarius and this Abuntina with prosperity. And I feel like this is going back with this, this world energy. There's just, there's a lot that is just needing to be celebrated and enjoyed right now in order for this to come in. Because I feel like this is going to be where there's going to be some hard work to get to that point that, that you're wanting. Now, I think that this is for some of you, not for all of you, but with Sagittarius, it's, is I see. And then Rose Quartz, Inner Child. So I do feel like some of you are going to be seeing that they will be expecting or having a child come into their life. Um, I'm just kind of getting that. There's a lot of like pinks 
and purples. So I'm kind of feeling like this is going to be um, a huge possibility of um, getting pregnant. So if you aren't in that headspace or don't want that, make sure that you use protection. You should always use protection if you are not in <laughs> like a committed relationship or whatever. Um, you should just use protection. Just saying. Um, but it just looks like it's I see inner child. So some of you, it can be like a physical manifestation of having a child. But I also see that there's like wounds that are being healed and that is with that world. Um, this is just that end of that chapter. And so it's I see that inner child and it's it's really um, unleashing the love and making sure that that inner child is blossoming so you can move forward with things. It just, it's such, this is such a cool read um, because it's like, it is totally like a past, present, and then future kind of energy that's happening. And it feels like you've been working on stuff for sure. But I think that you're really wanting to like fast forward into the future and it's just like relish right now. And I do feel like this is a huge possibility for that present, for sure. All right, guys, that is it for that reading. Make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe. Also comment below. Tell me if any of that resonates with you. Love to read your comments. Let's do a quick one. Let's do cheers, actually. Kink. Oh. Okay. I want to do just a one card thing for every... Everyone. Okay. That was the A.E. White. This one is the um, Witches Tarot. This is that Black Moon Astrology cards. that one flipped. Cool. We'll take it. So the only one that's upright is Emerald Compassion. Very interesting because that is Taurus's gemstone and we are in Taurus season, baby. Whoop, whoop. I love Taurus season. Not because I'm a Taurus, but that's a huge bonus. But I love the springtime when it actually starts to feel like spring. Um, and it's actually warm outside. But then you have some like really pretty like rainy days and stuff like that. I just love this time of year. Okay. So... Wow, that's a pretty big card. That's Dawn, the light after the darkness. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse, and that's being clarified by the Five of Pentacles. Then we have um, Virgo, number 18, I Analyze, being clarified by the Emerald Compassion. And then we have a cheese, eyes chill, eyes chill, eyes chill. Medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing power. And then being clarified by the dawn, the light after the darkness. Wow, this is really powerful because this is definitely a time that we should be focusing on healing ourselves. It is such a weird time to be stuck at home or our um, local businesses can't open and you just things are just so weird right now 
And it's really a, a perfect kind of time to really um, embrace this to healing yourself, doing that medicine woman kind of spiritual work. Because there is light after the darkness. This, this is going, we're going to come out of this a lot stronger as um, a community, but it's just, I'm, I'm also getting that it just needs, we need to deal with this darkness, with our shadow side, with our, with our skeletons in our closet and really clean that out and, and really work on ourselves. Look at how like this powerful image of her and the lightning and everything. And it's just, it's see, I just see it as just a really powerful moment that we just need to really grasp and take. And it's really uncomfortable when we do the, these kind of things when we're healing. It's, it's not, it's just kind of like healing a bone. Um, or, or healing from surgery. It's not like you're, oh, this is great. Like, it's not fun. <laughs> but the thing is, is, is it's, there is a little bit uncomfort. It's a little bit uncomfortable. And it can get really sometimes a little bit dark. But just remember, there's always light after darkness. I have the, um, on the back of my arm, I have the phases of the moon and that's one of the symbolisms where it's just like with darkness comes light and it won't ever stay the same. So it's, it's work when it's dark and when it's light, enjoy it because that's not going to last forever. So just really embrace this time to really become a power force in your soul and do a bunch of soul work. And it's just the perfect time to do it. Um, with Virgo um, being clarified by Emerald, this is a, um, this can be you, this can be a partner, um, this can be you, or, and that can be with anyone that has Virgo in their charts. Um, but I think the biggest thing that we can take out of this, if that doesn't resonate with you as a Virgo, um, is that we need to analyze compassion. And that doesn't mean dissecting compassion and um, being, well, was that out of compassion and doing a negative spin on it. When we analyze compassion, we need to analyze a situation as almost like a third party and see how much compassion can we give to this person? What can we do to make this right? What can we do to help this person out? And just really analyze situations in that where maybe you're having a rough day and you go to, we'll just say like the gas station and the, <laughs> this sounds really specific, but this has not happened to me. Um, but you go to the gas station and like all of the pumps are being used. You go and you pull up your car and this pump doesn't work. So you go in and you've already had just a really, really bad day. Everything seems to be going like the wrong way. Everything sucks. And this is when you analyze the situation. This, this attendant might like, you don't know what's going on in their life. You have no idea. And you need to analyze the situation of this is not this person's fault. And my energy of how frustrated I am, how this isn't going my way, I need to analyze that and say that this is on me and I should not project my own stuff onto someone else. So it's kind of taking that time out. It's the same thing with grocery store um, people and just anyone that's working right now. Um, I've heard some horror stories on Facebook and my local group and I'm like appalled by how some people have treated um, gro grocery workers and just how disgusting it is. So it's just really a time to really analyze yourself and analyze what kind of energy you're putting out and just put out compassion. Seriously. This is also an energy that we need to be because we are in Taurus season. This is earth energy. This is all earth energy. So it's it's really focusing on some really good um, earth um, zodiac people's um, good sides. So that would be like being reliable, being dependable, being strong, being frugal and... Um, careful with their money, things like that, where it's just 
having a being more grounded is huge on this and that's kind of what I'm getting as well where it's just being just grounded but if you don't if you are not have like if you don't have any um, earth signs in your zodiac and you don't really know any earth signs go look them up because then you can kind of see the positive sides of them and really focus on those and you can look at the negative aspects and be like okay maybe this is what I'm doing more and I need to do less of so really look at that earth energy um, and, and those signs and focus on those positives and go towards that energy because it is the perfect time since it is Taurus. Now, we have <laughs> we have our poor Queen of Wands in reverse. When she's upright, she is the life of the party. She has so many friends. She's social butterfly. She's just fiery, passionate, and just like, just great. When she's in the reverse, man, she's in a funk. Like she just, she wants, it's like the extrovert in this environment right now where it's being forced to stay at home and, and not talk to people or see people or go to parties and things like that. And I feel like right now it's just a really sad time for them and they feel a little bit barren. And um, this can be finances as well, but just for the energy that I'm getting with this Queen of Wands, I just feel like she is just like, feeling sad and feeling sorry for herself. And this can be a, a woman or a male. Um, but just remember, and this is really interesting because these both are kind of the same energies. It's the dawn. It's it's the, the light after the darkness. So this, in this card, it's like a barren landscape or like a winter landscape. It looks usually like January is. And then we have this beautiful little flower that is poking up from the snow. And it always reminds me that spring is coming. It's not going to be winter forever. So it's just a beautiful um, imagery. And just saying that, you know, you might be missing your friends. You might be missing going out, seeing your friends, partying, doing all that stuff. It's not going to be like this forever. So just keep hanging on. You got this. Do some soul work. Seriously. Get yourself grounded and do the soul work. Um, also want to do a side note. Um, Five of Pentacles is also my pregnancy card. So just like the last <laughs> reading, if you are not trying to get pregnant, get protected and stay protected. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for that reading. Make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe, also comment below, and let's talk. <sighs> so I hope that you guys have been having a really good week. Um, my week has not been great. <laughs> it's been probably the worst week that I've had since in captivity. Um, I, yeah, it was just, it's been bad. My poor little cat, Miko, Ha, um, got really really sick she's still she's still in the men's she's doing a lot better but she wasn't eating which if you know Miko she, food is life to her <laughs> and it was so sad and so she's doing a whole lot better I appreciate people that have known about it reaching out and you know giving their love and healing vibes towards us because it's just been really hard and I hate it when any of my pets are sick and not doing good. It just, it makes me so sad. So she's doing a lot better. I don't know what she got sick off of. Um, she has a really sensitive stomach and I have to be so careful and not leave anything out. And I've never had to do that with my pets and I adopted her about two years ago um, as an adult cat. So I don't know what her history is at all, but she is a forager and she, anything that's food related, she hides it. She, um, will not eat in front of people. It's very secretive. And yeah, if I have anything that's on the counter, she won't do it if I'm not there. If I am away and she knows that I will not find out or be there and know that she's doing it. She's all about it. She's very sneaky in that way. So I don't know what the heck she got, <laughs> but 
that poor little thing, I felt so bad for her. But again, she's doing a lot better, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I had a really bad panic attack um, this week, and I haven't had one in a while. I was having really, really bad ones there that they were like earth shattering. And um, I even had people tell me that I needed to go um, get on antidepressants and stuff like that. And um, I appreciate anyone that like has something to say, but it's my body and I'm going to do what I need to do. Um, I do talk to um, people. Um, on a regular basis in order to get my mindset correct and, and all of that. So, um, and I'm not saying that antidepressants presents aren't, are bad or anything like that. If you are on them, I know like most of my friends or, um, family members are on them. So I, I don't have anything against them at all. It's just with my own body and, and everything, I'm just very like, mm. It's just something, it's my personal choice. But um, after that anxiety, like panic attack that I had, um, I, and after like Miko was not doing really well, um, I went to, um, I went online and I got some CBD oil. Girl, that is amazing. <laughs> that stuff is so good. Um, I have been using it like before I go to bed. It's been awesome. Um, I, it's, I used to smoke a lot of marijuana <laughs> and, um, I don't, I don't anymore. I don't really like it how it, again, it does to my body. I like certain things and how it interacts and I don't like it because I get paranoid. I get tripped out. I just don't like it. I don't like how it makes me feel. So, um, this was a totally different experience because it wasn't anything that was in my mind and it like just was a whole calming thing within my body. And it just like, it, it just, it worked so well and I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm really glad with that purchase. And, um, if you, are interested in it, um, definitely try it out. I mean, there's little gummies that are out there and everything. And again, they're legal. It doesn't have any THC, so it's not anything that um, will like mess you up in the mind, in the sense of, and I'm not saying that's bad. Again, this is how like other people's bodies work. Cause I'm, I am a huge marijuana advocate. Um, I am one of the <laughs> many people that are, that, are supportive of it being legal in all 50 states and federally. So, um, yeah, just putting that out there too. <laughs> but yeah, that CBD oil, it helped so much this week. But anyways, um, that's been really it. Just been hanging out, having panic attacks. Um, another thing I've been doing is um, listening to podcasts and that is so much fun. I when I go back to work, I will not be able to do that at work just because of the environment and I can't hear it. Like I have such terrible hearing anyways, but, um, I've been re or listening to murder mysteries and stuff like that. And oh my God, I am like loving it. It's really sad though, but a couple of podcasts that I will promote. <laughs> I, I like listened to them and they were so good was um the first one that I listened to and I got super into is in the dark um that is really really good there's two seasons and it is awesome that isn't really well the first one yeah they I guess they are murders yeah but they, there's other aspects to it it's really interesting and then the second one that I listened to was Happy Face. And that one's about the Happy Face killer. And it's following the Happy Face's killer's daughter. And seeing perspective from her perspective and everything. And that was so cool. Because it was like a healing moment as well. Where she reunited with one of the victim's um, son. And wow, it was so powerful. So cool. 
Um, and the one that I'm on now is cold and that is like heart wrenching. Like all of these are obviously are heart wrenching just because of the nature of um, what has happened. But this one is just like another level. It's just so sad. Anyways, I've run out of time. <laughs> um, I just want to thank you guys so much for all of your support. And I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me. Let's cheers one more time. Let's cheers to friendship. Clink. And podcasts. Because they're awesome. Oh. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's all I have for you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will hang out with you soon. Bye.